any way you want it, live across America. What's cooking today? Eric and Jack Eagles, by the way, if you're in Hollywood, California, were at the bowl right next to me last night. Joe Walsh, they all were there. They were doing the Hotel California thing, Best of My Love, all their songs. They went until 1 o'clock in the morning. It was a great show, and I didn't have to leave my apartment. That's really cool, Jack. You live, like, right next to the Hollywood Bowl. That's right. So you could, like, hear well, all the music. Last week was Paul McCartney. This week it was uh, the Eagles. So. Well, let me know when they got Lady Gaga. I got. I will do that. Hey, you know who's with us today? Speaking of Lady Gaga, uh, Paula Zahn is going to be here. Oh, yeah, she's great. The uh, She's with CNN for a long time, but uh, she's now doing a show called On the Case, We'll be on the case with Paula Zahn that's coming up in just a few moments. Also, uh, Michael Strahan, NFL superstar. He's going to talk about uh, uh, well, what's going to happen this year. He's a Super Bowl king. We'll is he wearing about. his ring? His yeah, Super Bowl I, I ring? think probably. Sure. Probably is. And, and also we're going to have Myron Butler, a Grammy Award winning singer-songwriter. I saw him on the Today Show. Uh, I was running out of the house. I saw him on the Today Show with Matt Lauer. So we'll talk with Myron Butler uh, about what he's going on. He's talking about... Uh, the, the danger of a stroke there's people in the African American community so we'll talk about that as well so what have you been up to there Eric Hines? Well, you know, Jack, uh, the quest for garage dominance, you know, you know my, my yep. story about cleaning my garage, it continues. And uh, last night I actually went through, I don't know how many of you people do this, but you'll, you'll buy some paint, you'll paint one of your rooms, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> but for some reason you think it's necessary to, like, keep every can of paint, even though it could be empty or close to empty. And I understand why people do this. I get it, because you want to make sure that you have the right color match in case you get, like, a hole in your wall and you got to buy another can. You have the original can. You didn't match it. Well, well, no. I just I have all these cans of like empty paint, but I have to keep them because the, I have rooms that are painted this color. So I know it sounds trivial, doesn't it? it sounds no, really no, it, it sounds kind of important because why did you just make it polka dot? Make it all different colors. Well, uh, like psychedelic. Easier. We used to do that in the seventies. I'd save a lot more room. I wouldn't you have to would keep all that. these cans of paint. That's for sure. But so I've been working on that, uh, of course, yesterday. Really exciting. It's really exciting work, Jack Roberts. Cleaning my garage. Very exciting. Like watching paint dry. Yeah, it is really like watching paint dry. I will tell you though, I found a whole bunch of like old video games. I was going through some boxes. Yeah. And I found like old video games and stuff. How, so how, how far do they go back? I got some. I got some going back to like uh, Sega Genesis. Like old school Nintendo wow. 16, whatever, Super Nintendo. How much can you get for the original Pac-Man? For the original Pac-Man? I, I've got that. Uh, you know, Like the, the Atari like, 2600? Yeah, yeah. You got the Atari? Somewhere. No, no. I don't know where it is, though. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I think that's like a collector's item. I don't think you get a whole lot of money for it, but I think it's in high demand with as far as like... It was, uh, it was a great game. For, for nerd collectors like me kind of stuff. Well, I'm a nerd collector, too. Well, I'll tell you, my kids, though, that's the one thing. You get video games, like bro you break out the video games, and all of a sudden kids want to hang around you. Like my two kids were just like locked on me yesterday. As soon as they, as soon as they saw that I found the box of old toys, you know, and then my oldest daughter, the 11-year-old, she saw that I had the video games. I found the old video games. Boy, she was like my best friend yesterday. She's like, Daddy, are you going to hook up the TV out here too? Yeah, baby, I'll hook up the TV out here. Cool. Can you hook up the Nintendo so I can play video games? <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, so I did. And like, she was out there in the, with the garage. And she, of course, she was playing Nintendo. Uh, but, you know, it was fun. It was good to have her out there with me. So, so you did some painting. You did yeah. some video game, obviously. And, you know, some, some cleaning, gaming. Like, just basic general, like, sweeping the garage kind of stuff. Real exciting stuff, Jack. Real exciting Wednesday, stuff. middle of the week. It's what's cooking today. It's the hump day. It's hump day. Humpty and hump. Paula Zahn is in the building. She is here. She's on the case, ladies and gentlemen. And she's coming up next. We're going to talk about uh, a brand new season and exactly what's going on on that show. And she does a great job, by the way. I guess I'll apparently you can get 100 bucks for your old Atari 2600, Jack Roberts. Really? Yeah. Thank you for paying attention to what I was saying. <laughs> we'll be back. Come to quality. Come to luxury. Relax at the Fountain Grove Inn Hotel and Conference Center in Santa